bring another saw log into the uh, water power sawmill using a, a winch right here and a block and tackle. They've got a three rope block and tackle uh, that reduces the force by a multiple of three. Well, they got it in. Very nice. Uh, maybe uh, one and a half inches deep uh, in the pool. to do by hand. So when you drive it in, the log will have to go that way. You drive this one, it'll go that way. So if you pound each one into every other one, it'll, it'll keep the log from moving one way or the other. So they need to go in at least an inch. Then you have to keep checking it as it's running because it'll work out sometimes. I've had a log go up and down a few times. Mm -hmm. That's stopped.
to the end, this uh, carriage has an auto stop mechanism right here. Uh, when we bump that uh, piece of iron, it's going to shut off the carriage. Let me go to the other side and we'll see what's happening. Oh, that just turned everything off. We're going to use a friction winch to uh, pull the carriage back. Uh, Kelvin will pull the rope upstairs. Let me go look down. This is the uh, friction winch is pulling back the uh, carriage. And Kelvin's pulling up on this rope. That one wrap on the winch uh, returns the carriage. This is water powered by the main wheel. Board a log. I mean, notches you use. Flat in, flat on a log. You can adjust the point to wherever oh. works the best. And you point it on here. And do the yeah. Yeah. Turn it. You hit the blade a little bit. locations that control the uh, amount of water to the wheel. So you sharpen this saw blade and set it, uh, what do you feel about it? I think it's running pretty near perfect. Very good. How do you feel this is running today, Calvin? Running fine. 